Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. If you're watching my travel channel, or hi, welcome back to Rebecca's channel. If you're watching my lifestyle channel, today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news worldwide. To according to breakingtravelnews.com which you can find more information about the six latest facts that I'm going to be telling you so and there's even more facts on breakingtravelnews.com but I'm going to give you a few facts or six facts just say um, basically to do with the latest news worldwide so uh, let's jump right into it now um point one is Chewy pushes holiday return into july 2020 the Tui group has pushed back the return its operation in the UK into July. The travel giant had hoped to begin offering holidays again on June the 30th, but it has now been delayed until the 10th of July. So hopefully they'll be able to, the TUI group will be able to get um custom when it's safe to do so on the 10th of july and um, going back and traveling with it fingers crossed and i hope it all goes fantastically well and smoothly as possible for them just like any travel group i just hope everything goes smoothly and as planned as much as possible uh, keeping my fingers crossed to say now point number two i a t a tracks border clo uh, closures with interactive math what the the travel international airport sorry the travel international air transport association has introduced online interactive world map to provide travelers with the latest entry regulation by each country so all this is fa absolutely fantastic and amazing to say if you want to go to a particular country or you're thinking about going to a particular country if you look on this interactive map it'll be the very latest travel regulations for visiting that country well wow, that's absolutely amazing and well done to the Air International Air Transport Association for that. Um, that gives also passen uh, passengers and tourists peace of mind as well. Um, all the entry requirements that is needed to go and visit the country for either business or leisure. So well done to at that and that's really exciting at news which is absolutely fantastic now number three aruba caribbean island is to reopen tourism in the coming weeks yay visitors from air and so Reiko, excuse my pronunciation, will be allowed to enter from June the 15th, so that next week, while guests from the rest of the Caribbean 
with the exception of the Dominican Republic and Haiti, Europe and Canada will be allowed to go to Aruba from July the 1st. So that's really exciting. Travellers um, from the United States of America, in other words, North America, it's going to be July the 10th this year, their country, uh, country or Caribbean island is going to open up to. The official opening dates for other markets including South America and Central America have yet to be confirmed um, and determined. So, uh, so Hopefully, they, uh, they will be able to uh, basically say a date for, for Central Amer American and other countries um, wanting to go to, to Aruba um, as soon as possible and obviously as safely as possible, but well done to the island uh, for being able to reopen to, uh, to tourism in the next coming weeks. And I really hope tourism, again, for then goes as smoothly as possible, uh, like any other country. And uh, I hope it will receive visitors um, as soon as they open its borders to other com uh, countries so well done and fingers crossed it'll go s uh, smoothly number four is transit is to offer summer schedule as restrictions receive so wow that's great news for air transit um to offer a summer schedule um obviously as the restrictions receive so and hopefully they'll be able to do it as welcoming and as uh, safely as possible so well to Air transit for that. Uh, number five, La Lina is to promote Spain as a safe tourism destination. So well done to Inga and Sp uh, Spain, and uh, hopefully to tourism be up and running Spain and other countries the world as soon as possible and well done company that's in La Linga Spain. I hope again it runs as safely and as smoothly as possible fingers crossed that yet again now number six is had uh, Launches travel voucher scheme to where we with passengers. Um, again, I would again recommend taking travel vouchers from a company if you are flexible um, in regards to, uh, to um, can basically go any uh, time in the year or next year etc but I didn't take the travel vouchers um, because I might not go another, another time of year um, with shearings I had to go on that day for dates and again shearings um, is in administration and 
still waiting to receive the refund that I just have to be with a patient and like everybody else and get play at fingers crossed as soon as possible I'll receive the payments um, those people again that can take vouchers can go or can be scheduled to a good time then again it would be helping the tour but tour the operators or operator out um as as well as yourself but because uh my holidays that were already been booked and just can't go another time um then i just take the shearing vouchers Um, so thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and i'll see you in my next video and also lifestyle video which is going to be on this sunday at 6 p.m again i'm not at work this week so i spend, spend more time to do more lifestyle videos and travel videos and again it seems that the tourism sector again for a lot of countries is on its way to recovery which is absolutely brilliant and amazing um, again, uh, for people in the UK, Europe and around the world, I do hope that the tourism sector gets up and running as smoothly as possible. So, thank you for watching. I love all, all you viewers and subscribers. You will mean the world to me. And Bye for now. Thank you. Bye.